uh, a lot of Christian apologists are just weird and strange. Uh, for example, David Wood and James White, they have some kind of weird debate fetish where they like debate Muslim college kids and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 and people like... And victory over yeah. the religion. They've won the class of civilization. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, uh, just won and, debate. Then, and then they, they, they think that uh, if they keep debating Christianity and, and Islam and they're winning in those debates, that automatically proves their religion over Islam and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And people like, like James White has bogus... Uh, he has a fake PhD and THD and this has been uh, a source of mockery of James White yeah. uh, all over the internet uh, his, his bogus credentials uh, uh, you know so like have you ever dealt with someone where like you know like their credentials uh, have you ever been like elitist where you know um, you don't want to debate somebody because they have no credentials or no uh, have you ever done the barterman approach or? no uh, well that's the William Lane Craig is the one who says who claims that he won't debate someone who doesn't have a PhD although he does that he's debated Eddie Tabash he's debated people without PhDs before but um, no no I, I don't have that limitation I mean I do uh, I can sometimes feel bad if someone doesn't have it and doesn't perform well in a debate um uh, I, I win those debates, but I, you know I feel bad for them. It's like it, you know you probably it's not fair. yeah yeah it's not really a bad it's not the best representation of the position they were defending right. So I, I would rather have the best representation rather than the worst. But uh, I don't organize debates myself. So if someone else organizes a debate, as long as my opponent, as far as I know, is going to be at least ninety percent honest uh, <laughs> uh, and um, and and not uh, defend uh, reprehensible values or something, I'm probably you know I'll probably do that debate. Uh, I'm not going to have set some sort of like credential requirement. Oh, okay. Um, and and other, but been, like like James White has also criticized me for using your work when when he's he's, he's that's funny. Me, uh, <laughs> of being inconsistent because yeah. if you if I he said that if I use your same methodology on the Quran and Islam, yeah. that's it. You know. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's. I would just respond to them by saying like, oh, well, then you agree with Richard Carrier's methodology, so no. you must agree with his conclusions, right? Oh. <laughs> So it sounds to me like they're saying that the the the, the, the methods work from their point of view, right? Yeah. So I, I would use that against them. But uh, but it's funny to have someone like James White with a fake degree saying yeah. you shouldn't listen to the writings of someone who actually has the degree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just... does not have scholarly credentials and never publishes any works of scholarship. My aversion to him is simply rooted in the fact that he does not seem to be a nice guy. I have no problem with him being a committed Christian believer, but when someone is that offensive, I tend to take offense.